Hey, I'm Brock with PDQ. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to deploy Microsoft Power Toys with PDQ Deploy. Um, Power Toys is one of those great applications that it works great for sysadmins, it works great for developers, but it's also really good for just your average user that can really benefit from it. Some of my favorite uh, Power Toy utilities are always on top if I have something that I need to make sure is above all my other screens. Another one is awake, so I can go take a nap and I'll make sure that my computer will stay awake. Let's take a look at how to deploy it. First, we will go to our trusty Google and we will look up Power Toys install. That'll take us to Microsoft's page where we'll have this link to GitHub where we'll find the executable. And we're gonna download the machine-wide X64 bit because that's twice as good as 32-bit. Next, we're gonna open up the uh, downloads folder we're gonna take our executable that downloaded here, we're gonna copy it, and then we're gonna to go to our repository in PDQ Deploy. If you're looking for the path for that, this is the default path for the PDQ Deploy repository. In here, we're gonna go ahead and create a new folder, and we're gonna paste our executable in there. All right, now we're ready to open up PDQ Deploy and create our package. So with PDQ Deploy open, we're gonna go up here to new package. We're gonna give it a name, Microsoft Power Toys. Next, we're just gonna add an install step and we're going to attach our file. Okay, we can click on this button right here to browse out to our repository, find our Power Toys folder, select the executable and open it up. Okay, now right here, what we need to make sure that we're doing is that we wanna make sure that this deploys silently. And there's a few tricks for that. Um, one I'm going to show you right here. So let's go back to our repository folder where the executable is. Okay, we're going to go down here. We're going to launch run. And with run opened up, we are going to drag that executable into that run prompt. And then all the way at the end of it, we're going to add a slash question mark and hit enter on that. Um, and now what's going to happen is that's going to pull up uh, the installation parameters for this executable. Uh, this won't always happen. Some executables won't have that feature in there, um, but it's one way to find silent parameters. Uh, we have several other ways. We have a whole uh, blog article about it, so we can link that down below. So if you're looking for ways to find silent parameters, check the description down below and see if you can find that uh, blog article. And we go into a lot of details there about how you can find silent parameters. But here we have, it looks like all the parameters we need. We have an install parameter. We have a passive or quiet parameter. We also have a no restart. So those are the three that we're looking for here. So we'll go back into deploy into our package and we are going to add our parameters right here. Install parameter, put a space after that. We put our quiet parameter and then we will add our no restart parameter there. Don't want it to restart. Uh, okay. And then we can just go ahead and check over our package. Everything looks good. We got our executable file. We got our parameters in there. We don't need any additional files. And here's our command line install that automatically generates as we fill out that information. All right, so we'll go ahead and save that package, close it. Okay, now with Power Toys here, we've got our package created. Let's go ahead and deploy it to one of our computers. We'll right click on it, go to deploy once, find a target to add. We will add, let's go with Ang. Okay, we'll go ahead and de hit deploy now. Now that's gonna run, and then once that's done running, it's gonna go ahead and scan that computer that it was deployed to automatically because the preferences are set to once you deploy an application uh, that it's automatically gonna scan that computer and check for any changes to it. So we can go up and actually see that if we go to options, preferences, deployment, right here, scanning, scan after deployment. So as soon as that deployment finishes, that computer is gonna be scanned and it's gonna check for that uh, new application. All right, so it's finishing up here, successful. We're going to go and hop over to PDQ inventory. We can see that already we got our scan running. So if we give that just a second, we'll be able to see those results. All right, now that that scan is finished running, let's go ahead and open it up. And we can click on the Applications tab over here. And if we scroll down, we should see, yep, Power Toys Preview right there. Uh, and then what we can do from here, if we wanted to see if any other computers on the network had Power Toys, we can actually right-click on that and say New Dynamic Collection, Power Toys. We can just leave that off. It's actually it's going to search for this value right here. We're going to hit OK. And then down here, we can see that we've got our new collection, Power Toys. 
and it looks like one of the other computers on the network already has Power Toys installed, and it automatically added it to the uh, to the collection. So there you go. We got Power Toys installed. Uh, hopefully that helps you out. Power Toys is a really cool way to uh, really give added functionality to the Windows operating system. And if you're looking to be your users' heroes, go ahead and install Power Toys from them. There's a lot of utilities in there that they could benefit from as well. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'm Brock with PDQ.